Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do something totally fun, totally different than what I've done here on my channel before. And I've seen a lot of these videos going around, but I haven't seen one about... Mi Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, yo nunca dejaré de amarte. Ay, que yo muero y va a la tierra. Okay, I'm done. In case you didn't know, I am full Puerto Rican, born and raised here in New York, but my family is from Puerto Rico. Um, and I really wish that I was born on the island, but just didn't work out that way, so... Here we are. I thought that this would be fun to do to teach you guys some terms and some words that I grew up with as well as um, words and stuff that I've heard when I'm out on the island. Puerto Ricans tend to have a very distinct way of talking and you know certain words that they use differently or words that only exist in Puerto Rico. So if you would like to learn how to speak like a Puerto Rican then just keep on watching. So the first word that I have is acho or chacho. So you'll probably hear a lot of Puerto Ricans saying something like acho nene, pero tu jode más que el diablo. Acho. So it literally means like damn, you would say it anytime that you want to say the word damn or crap, you would say acho. So the second word is one that I hear a lot and my mom still says it and I've never heard it said like in another culture so like if you are from a different background and you say some of these words please let me know because I find it so interesting but the next word is abombao so abombao literally means spoiled no good you gotta throw it out my mom would be like mira nena tu tienes que tirar eso para afuera porque esa comida está abombao abombao Next one is something that you've probably heard quite often and probably something that we say the most and if you heard Despacito, which is like the biggest song, there's a line that says Hasta que las olas griten, ay bendito. Ay bendito is something that we use to say aw. So, ay bendito, mira que linda esa nena. Or, ay bendito, te cogieron de pendejo. <laughs> So, ay bendito can be used just to say aw, oh, like if you are just expressing affection or admiration for something, you would just say ay bendito or just bendito. So, that's probably something that you hear the most and you can relate that to Puerto Ricans because it's something that we say all the time. Next one is bregar. Bregar I don't really hear outside of Puerto Ricans either and it, it's basically you saying that you have to deal with something so like um, yo no sé cómo bregar con eso like I don't know how to deal with that or handle that situation I don't know that's always the way that it's been used around me bregando like dealing with something bregando next word is brutal Brutal is a word that I don't hear used quite as often here in New York as it is on the island but it's a sense of saying that something is either really good or it could be really bad too but most of the time it's used as really good like you could say Ayer nosotros fuimos para el club y estaba bien brutal It was really cool, it was awesome, amazing, brutal Sounds like brutal, reads like brutal but it means good Next word is chavo Chavo is used to describe money, to say the word money. Ay, nene, yo no me puedo ir contigo porque no tengo chavo. I don't have money. So, chavos. Another word that's similar to brutal, but I think is not only used by Puerto Ricans, but especially used by Puerto Ricans, is chévere. So, chévere is another way of saying that something is really cool or really awesome. Uh, nosotros fuimos para el, para el barra ayer y estaba bien chévere. La gente ahí estaba bien chévere. Everyone was cool, everything was cool, everything was chill, nice, awesome, chévere. The next word is gonna sound really silly because this is Spanglish. So English mixed with Spanish. And the word is hanguear. Hangiar sounds exactly like hang, and that's exactly what it means, to hang. So, um, I, mira, yo quiero hangiar contigo. 
hangarme contigo, hangar to hang out with, hangar. <laughs> Another word that um, we use a lot is nene and nena in place of niño and niña. Now, I believe that there are other cultures that also say nene and nena, but like you almost never really hear a Puerto Rican saying niño and niña. It's just not the way that they speak or we speak. It's mainly always nene and nena. Mira ese nene, mira esa nena. Little boy, little girl means the same thing, but for whatever reason, Puerto Ricans just choose to say nena and nena instead of niño and niña. So that's what that is. Another word that is really, really throwback is jibaro. Jibaro is like a hick, a hillbilly. That's the term that you would use. Um, it's to describe the people that are from like the countryside of Puerto Rico. Ay, nene, pero tú estás vestido como un jíbaro. You're dressed like you're from the country or you're talking like you're from the country. Jíbaro. So another word that we use is revolu. Revolu, I don't use, I don't know if they use that like in other cultures and I've only ever really heard Puerto Ricans say it, but it's used to describe like a mess or a bunch of crap, <laughs> basically. Ay, mira todo ese revolu ahí. Like, look at that mess over there. Revolu. So, yeah. <laughs> so that is pretty much it for all of the words that I wanted to translate for you guys. But, in case you didn't know, even though there are several countries in the world that speak Spanish, a lot of words mean different things depending on who you're speaking to and where they're from. So I decided that I wanted to include one of those words and it's probably the most commonly confused one if you don't know that there is a difference. And that word is ahorita. Ahorita to Puerto Ricans and to Dominicans and I just believe like the entire Caribbean, ahorita is a way of saying later. And you wouldn't really hear it said so much ahorita, it'll be ahorita. So, um, nos vemos ahorita. That's just how it's said when, you know, you're speaking back and forth. It, you don't really hear the ahorita. And that's to say a lot later, soon, in the later hour. Ahorita. To like South Americans, ahorita means right now, in this moment. Nos vemos ahorita, I'll see you right now. To Puerto Rican, nos vemos ahorita, I'll see you later. So you really have to be careful with who you're speaking to because if you're Puerto Rican and you say nos vemos ahorita to a Mexican, they're going to be waiting for you for a very long time. <laughs> you don't want that to happen because if you're going on a date or if you're going to meet some friends they're gonna hate you that is pretty much it for this video let me know if you like seeing stuff like this on my channel this was really fun to film and to get together and put together i love being puerto rican it is the best thing in the world i have a loud family the music is amazing the food is amazing and i think i want to do more puerto rico related videos on my channel and if you guys would like to see that then please let me know and yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and the background is pretty much done except all this revolu over here <laughs> this revolu um so yeah i'm still like working with how i'm doing things right now but for now this is this is the nicest that it's been again please like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you guys later bye <laughs>